There are so many apps on the Play Store that it is practically impossible to try all of them. So this is the February edition of the top 10 apps that are awesome and useful as well. So let's get started. The first app on the list is the Button Mapper application. This application lets you remap the hardware buttons on your device like the volume buttons or the home button or if you have a camera button. So you can actually set up various actions for all these buttons. So like when you double tap, you can select it to open the flashlight or when you long press it, you can make it go back or open the recent application. Instead of the actions, you can also set up various applications or shortcuts that are on the Android system. So if you listen to a lot of music on your phone, you can have the long press on the volume button to open the Dolby surround sound or the music player application that you have. So yeah, let's move on to the next application. So the next application on the list is a social media manager application and it is the Flyso app. It is very useful because you can use Facebook, Instagram and Twitter all in the same place in one application and you don't need to install the Facebook application, the Instagram application and the Twitter application. And this is very useful for phones that have low memory because this application is just some megabytes and it doubles up or triples up for three applications. you can use the facebook account or the instagram account and you don't need to log in every time you have to use them so the third app on the list is the tunastic application this application will let you create 3d animations on your mobile phone itself this is quite a powerful application and although the animations look a bit fake but they are 3d and the dynamics are also very good so you can create three types of stories Now as the animation has started you can move these characters and make them do various tasks by clicking on the various objects in the environment like if i tap on this guy he will turn on the lamp and in the end this will all be converted into a video that you can share to your friends or just store on your phone and you also have the options for the music that you want to add to the background you have a lot of options for that and then you are done you just have to do three stories like this and click on finish So before moving on to the next application click on the subscribe button below and also tap on the notifications because I keep making videos like this every other day So the next app on the list is the control F application the name says everything this app lets you find the things that you're searching for like if you have a big document that your college gave you and you need to search for something on that document you can actually take a photo of that using this application so i'll quickly take a picture of the document that i have and then the app will convert it into a readable format and you can search for any word that you want or any text that you want so now it has analyzed all the text and converted it into a readable format i can search for anything i want so it shows me where the word comes in the paragraph So you need not take a picture all the time you can also use some pictures from your gallery and if you're using your browser and you need to search something on the page you can actually take a screenshot and use the screenshot to search for the option that you want and this app is not limited to english language you can search in a lot of languages and there are some local indian languages like tamil and telugu also and of course you have hindi as well So this is kind of a launcher or an automated widget application that will show you apps according to the triggers that you have set. You can set up various triggers for various devices that you are connected to or the various networks you are connected to or if you connect to headphones. I will quickly set up a trigger and show you guys. So I can set triggers for locations, bluetooth devices, when my mobile is connected to the charger and other different things. And after you have added the widget on the home screen, it will show you apps according to the trigger that is currently running. So So right now my mobile is connected to the Wi-Fi so it will only show me apps that are internet based and suppose if i connect my earphones now the headphone trigger is on and now it will show me apps that are music related so uh, music it shows me music and other music applications this is a fairly new app and it is very useful when you set it up a bit Text aid is essentially a exposed dictionary module but it works on non rooted devices as well Some of the features that work on non-rooted phones are quite awesome and you can set up various macros so when you click on the macro it will expand it. You can also set up various passwords in this application so you will have a master password and a macro so whenever you enter that macro the password will be expanded or you can use different macros for different things like I have set up add the rate name as shlok shrivastava so whenever i type add the rate name in any search field it will expand to become my name 
you can do that for various amount of things like addresses or phone numbers and it would work just fine you can also use this as a floating dictionary but it works better if you have exposed some people who are asking about battery saving applications and ram cleaners i don't advise on using ram cleaners but greenify is a great alternative you can use greenify to set up various apps and they would hibernate in the background yes greenify is a very popular app among the root user community but the unroot feature has become quite powerful and right now it is the best application on the market for battery saving you can set up various apps and they would hibernate in the background so as soon as you exit them or you turn the display off on your phone the apps would hibernate in the background and they would stop running this in turn saves you a lot of battery and it would also save you a lot of data it is currently a must have app on your phone this is the only paid application in this video and trust me it's worth it this application is called wolfram alpha what this application does is give you answers but trust me you will be surprised by the amount of information it gives about very basic things and it can also solve very complex mathematical problems so suppose you are studying mathematics in school or college this is a must have application this will give you step by step solutions of the mathematical problems even the complex ones I've already showed you guys the Mobis and Mirror application and this application lets you cast your mobile screen onto your computer. So if you're using some app like Showbox on your mobile, you can actually use it on a computer and watch the movies that you're watching on your mobile on the computer itself. The only problem I have with this application is that the audio doesn't come out from the computer. The audio comes out from the mobile, so you have to either plug in the headphones or use the phone speaker itself. The Inquire application lets you see one phone screen from the other phone. So right now I'm showing this screen on the other phone. I can do this over the internet and it is an excellent application if you want to show the person on the other side what you're doing on your mobile. So suppose I want to explain my parents how to do something on my mobile. I can exactly show them how to do it and they can also ask me questions via the mic and and they can point out with the their screen about what they don't understand. This is a very useful application if you want to communicate just using your screen and it's very similar to TeamViewer but the functionality is totally different. So that's it for the video guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you liked it or not and if you enjoyed the video you can watch some more on my channel.